Good morning. Welcome back. It's already been missing. For those that saw my last walk, um, there was a particular challenging bit. Um, um, to cut a long story short, one of my legs sunk into the ground. I went one way, my knee went the other. Jarred my knee. Hurt a little. But I still had three miles to go, so I thought I'd just walk it off. That didn't work. So I had a bit of a knee injury. It's an age thing, it's a army years catching up with me kind of thing. But I'm now kind of okay, but it's still enough there to let me know that my knee is not completely happy with me. So the choices were stop walking until it was 100% better or ease myself back into it, do a bit of rehabilitation walking. I've caused myself probably, um, I don't know about you, but when I go walking, again, I think it's the army thing, I've got a target, right Mike, you've got to go from here to there, let's go. I don't take enough breaks, I don't sit down, I don't rest, so I'm prone to injury. So I've got to learn to get better at that. So I decided I wouldn't just stop walking, because I'll go stare crazy if I do. So. For those that have watched me for a while, you might remember this. I bought this book <laughs> ages ago. Um, it's an Ordnance Survey Pathfinder Guide for Outstanding Circular Walks in Cheshire. Also covers a couple in Wirral. I've done a handful, if that. Three, maybe. Um, so I thought, you know what? Ease myself back in. I'm going to get the book back out. So... My next several walks are going to be this. I'm going to do a Pathfinder Guide series. And today is Walk 1, which is Worse Wall Hill and Big Mere. It starts in Marbury. I'm currently parked in the Swan Car Park. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to. I'll find out when I come back. I might go for a pint afterwards, so cover all bases so they don't give me a fine or whatever. So I'm going to head out of Marbury, over some hills, muddy fields, probably because it rained last night. Um, all in all, about three and a half miles. According to this, it's an outstanding circular walk. Let's go and see if it is. <laughs> From the car park, you're pretty much straight into the walk. <coughs> I'd say walk out the village, but such a tiny village, you literally walk maybe 50 meters up the road, then you find the uh, the sty and the footpath, and then you're straight out into the fields. The sty is overgrown, so keep an eye out for it. Um, all of my walks you'll find on the Outdoor Active app and I'll put the link to the wall in the description. So either if these series of walks float your boat and you don't want to buy the book, download the app. I still think it's free. Um, and all the routes and the maps are on there. So thus far, it's not too cold. The rain's off. It's solid underground, which is uh, unusual for one of my walks so let's keep going no higher ground even if you never flown before you can take a chance and try once more don't let 
your worries weigh you down, down, down. You can still take flight, although you're earthbound. Massive shout out to all the farmers who help keep the footpaths open. Just walking across a massive field right now. There's still a very defined path right across this field. Kudos to you. So there's the village over there. There's the church, St. Michael's. We're going to come back in there. I think that's the big mere. So I think now we're going to head out that way for a mile and a bit and come back round the Mere through St Michael's back into the village and then the Swan for a pint. see this little section is down a country lane the locals do use it and so is the postman but the postman seems to think it's a rally stage so if you are doing it just keep your wits about you and maybe keep your dogs on the lead the first and only hill of the day I think out that the footpaths on this route do cut across work and farms. Now most of them have just had sheep in and they're as pleasant as you like. The field I've just gone across there, cows with calves, a bit more unpredictable cows, they'll either walk the opposite way or they get really nosy and come and have a little look. So, if you're a bit nervous around cows, and who isn't, maybe find another route. But, at point of recording, I am still alive. They didn't charge, they walked the other way. A bit rude. Right then, I think I can just make out the roofs of Marbury Village again. So we're gonna head off that way. leg by the uh, big mere. Um, field full of horses. Angry horses. And even though it's a, it's a public footpath and a public bridleway, every time I climbed over to go into the field, the horses charged. So I thought, not today. I can't outrun a horse on my best day, let alone with a dodgy knee. So, detour quick detour it's not too far out the way um, I'll update the route on outdoor active to reflect it ah well the joys of hiking <laughs> No 
warning swept me off my feet It was a deadly dance and I knew if I stayed I would never leave Cause you had my heart in your hands soft like a summer And then it was a deadly dance and I knew if I stayed I wouldn't stand Thunder, lightning, hit me, struck me right in the side of mine. I was born to fall. Well, there you have it. With the detour, a little over four miles, 4.4 miles, about an hour and 50 with a bit of faffing. Quite a Nice little walk, nothing outstanding about it, but it's a really nice walk. I've just been to the Swan pub where I parked, a little bit out of guilt, um, and I was hungry. What a lovely little pub. It's really, I mean, it's out the way, you, you'd never know it was here, but it's really close to the Clangothlan Canal. It's got a really large patio, so I imagine on a really nice day it'll be busy. Um, lovely sandwich, really nice BLT, not cheap, um, I will say that, but the food is absolutely lovely. And the staff, staff are really nice. Um, so if you're in the Marbury area, why not check out the Swan, it's a lovely pub. And the, she must be the co-owner or the manageress. Um, it's just been telling me there's plenty of really nice walks around here so i'll have a look my plan is to just wear through this book now and do these walks but close to clangoff and the canal so i might be back um a walking in this area and b to this pub because it's absolutely lovely so my knees held up i'm okay i don't think i'm injured um i'm all full from my rather large blt so now it's time to go home. Bit of about an hour drive, but been a decent day. Decent walk. Nothing strenuous. Yeah, decent start. Back on the road to recovery. Thanks for watching. <laughs>